Ben, and this is a quick little Halo, Halo 4. And what's it, Halo 3? Quick little Halo 4 match. Big Team Slayer on Exile. And I even looked at that shot right there in theater mode, and I have no idea how that hit. I, I don't know what happened with that shot, but usually when a round starts off like that, I know it's going to be pretty good. Jump shots. I love this little spot. This my phone, one of my favorite spots to snipe in Halo on this map. Uh, just got a jump shot, and once you get your jump shot down, it's not too bad. Well, I missed a couple easy ones there, and then was robbed of the double hit kill at this. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> you, can, you can see the start of this match and think, wow, this is going to be a good game. Well, you would be mistaken. Uh, teammates on my team did not seem to be terribly uh, enthusiastic about shooting the enemy players. I think I had one person on my team that was 4-25 at the end of the round. And... Uh, as you can tell, with teammates that bad, I'm going to be going against a lot of power weapons and a lot of ordnance drops on the other team. And that's pretty much what happens. I think uh, at one point they have three incineration cannons in their players' hands at the same time. I mean, there's not much you can do about that. Especially when your teammates like to rush them. Which they were. And they weren't very good at rushing either. Halo is one of those games. It's always been this way. Where if you want to rush, you have to be very smart about it. It's not a balls to the wall, pedal down, you know, type of game. I was going to say fuck the police, but that really doesn't make any sense. But it's not that type of game. You can't be too aggressive in Halo. I don't know how that grenade didn't stick. I've been having that issue. This, I think it was this game or the game after this one where I had a couple grenades. That one should have stuck, and I think it did stick, but it didn't blow up or didn't kill him. I, I don't know. The grenades weren't my friend either. I have had a couple problems with this game. Teammates were giving the other team a whole lot of really bad or really powerful weapon drops because my team, they sucked. They just sucked. And I was getting horrible ordnance drops despite doing being the best player on the team. That's the only problem I have with ordnance drops in this game. You can do really, really well and get the absolutely shittiest set of drops possible. You can do horrible and your one, the one set of drops you get for the game is like the best one possible. I don't know how that algorithm works, but it needs to be changed, because the whole point of Ordnance Drops, as far as I was concerned, was to reward players for having kills, or kill streaks. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What it is, it is what it is, and it's not very fun. That's what it is. No, I actually shouldn't say that. Halo 4 is still quite fun. All the BS aside, it's still probably the only shooter I really enjoy playing now, at least multiplayer-wise. I haven't touched Halo 4, or Battlefield 3, pardon me, in at least a month. At least not with any real dedication, I may just jump on here and there. But this game, I put I play a lot of Halo 4 now. Um, so expect more Halo 4 videos. If, you're, if you don't like Halo 4, you're probably like, yay! Uh, American Alucard, he's one of my loyal subscribers, he was like, well, like seriously, like, first batch of Battlefield Bad Company 2 subscribers I got from Colin. <laughs> oh, pardon me. But anyway, he said, he made a comment the other day saying, or a while ago actually, by right now, but that there's not a whole lot of people posting Halo 4 on YouTube consistently. And I think that's a, that's a good point. Why isn't there more people playing this game when posting it on, on YouTube? It's an incredible game. It is, uh, it's the game that a lot of people want other games to be. You know what I mean? It's a game that rewards players with a good shot. It's a game that has decent matchmaking. Now granted, occasionally the lag can, can be a little bit much, but it's a game that it seems to have a lot of the stuff that people want in their video games. But it's not, nobody's playing it. I think it's like, it's barely in the top 10 on Xbox Live. It's, to me, it's a great, it's a great shame because this game is really, really fun. I mean, the DLCs that are out are all good. Some of the maps are actually better than the launch maps. The, the constantly updating the playlists. I mean, it's just an amazing, 
It, it, for me, it's a great experience. And if you guys haven't played Halo 4, you don't know what you're missing. And this guy took so much freaking shots. I think he had an overshield. Anyway, hopefully you guys... And the guy with the hammer. Giant balls on that guy with the hammer. <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and especially the hot little streak at the start. Until next time, please check out my Halo 4 playlist. Link in the description. And happy fragging.